Hello everyone. I am Liz Montoya. I'm a nurse practitioner here at the Bougainvillea Clinic. I have worked for the Hartogs for 16 years, which I am very proud of because I started out as an esthetician and then went on to nursing school and nurse practitioner. So I have been injecting uh, neurotoxins and dermal fillers since about 2011. And we're gonna go over the process for lip fillers today. So what can you expect when you come in to get your lips filled? What I like to do is I like to meet with you and really evaluate your face and evaluate your expectations. Whenever I'm looking at you, I'm constantly looking at what is the balance? You know, how do your eyes go with your nose and your nose with your mouth? And then I like to talk about your expectations and I like to see what kind of look are you going for? And then we, a lot of times we'll meet in the middle because sometimes what I can do and also how your anatomy is, we kind of have to, uh, to make some decisions. And nowadays we have phenomenal options for lip fillers. And then once we decide on that, then you'll proceed and get some before pictures for me so I have a good baseline picture. And then uh, we have you numb and go over the consents and we go over all your questions and concerns, what to expect after the treatment and then what follow-up care and then when you'll be back in the office. So for this particular patient, and she's kind of one of my favorite patient bases to treat because they're just getting into doing some lip injections and I like to catch them early so that we can do it the right way. So in her particular case, she wanted to have some extra augment. So whenever I'm talking to patients, I always wanna evaluate what natural augment do they already have? What are the shape of their lips? Um, what's the hydration in their lips already? Because now we have available, I can choose from one filler that's smoother, that just will really look like you have lip gloss on, and then I can build on that and look at other fillers that are gonna actually give you an augment. So for her, she wanted to have more of an augment and lip definition, which is appropriate for her age. So we decided to go with Juvederm Ultra, which I've used for years, and I still pull it out of my back pocket when I need it. So when I talk about lip fillers and how long they last, it's different. You know, you have different body types, people who are gym rats, people who just are genetically thin. Um, and then I have people that I inject once a year. So I tend to say that Juvederm Ultra XC is gonna last about four to six months. Sometimes if I have patients who are who really want more augment, I, I'm not a big on doing three syringes at once because um, you really have to look at what your lips can accommodate. So the, my preferences will start out with doing one treatment and then I bring you back in about two weeks and if we need to add more, we can add more and slowly build that space so that the, uh, the dermal filler can integrate properly into the lips and look more natural. So I would say about four to six um, months is, is a good gauge of how often you'd be doing a treatment like Jupiter Maltrexy. I think it's important to mention a quick, some quick little tips with lip fillers um, because it does come up. So I know people get excited and they think they wanna get it done right before they have a big event or a first date or being in a wedding. This is really something you're gonna to wanna to do about two to three weeks before. Longer the better because then if we need to do any tweaking because you can have bruising, you can have swelling, um, and you can have some even unevenness at first. So those are things that are easy to get through, not, not a big concern, but something to definitely consider before you're gonna show off your new lips. 